Good morning, it's Saturday, it's the weekend. Um, got quite a busy one planned for today. I'm going to pop out, I was originally going to pop out and do my weekly shopping this morning because I think it's forecast to snow tomorrow but I don't think I've actually got enough time to do it because I've got to leave here about 10 past 10 to go and pick my mum up to take her for a vaccination so I'm worried that if I go food shopping it does take me quite a while because I sit for a lot of people and um, so I just don't think I've got enough time so I think instead I'm just going to pop to Lidl or somewhere with you and to get stuff for breakfast and for, I've got stuff for dinner today. Um, oh, can hear little Luna steps coming out. Good morning Luna. Just let her out. You outside? Hello. Good girl. Are you changing your mind? Go on, no, go on up wee wee. Good girl, go on up and sleep in wee wee. Looking too bad at the moment. So yeah, it's not looking too bad at the minute, but I think I'm just gonna pop to little get stuff for breakfast and probably lunch. And then um I'll I've got quite a bit at home to do. We're actually doing our understairs shelves today. I'll just show you the state it's in at the moment. You might be shocked because it is one of those dumping ground areas. So we have this stairs cupboard this understairs cupboard which I use as a bit of a pantry but it's turned into a dumping ground so we have a few extra coats here but as you can see I've got shelves with just tons and tons and tons of stuff on it but then this middle bit has become snack bag coffee pods all of my containers my wok my spare jars so it's just there's just tons there's even next size stuff in here which I never use my steamer that I do use, and my blender, my stick blender, and loads of cookery books. So the plan is, we've bought off Facebook Marketplace some of the metal um, rod shelving that you attach to the wall, the twin lock kind of shelving. So we're going to clear it all out. I don't think we're going to bother painting, because like I say, it's not really a room that anyone will use ever. And even if we sell the house, people aren't going to necessarily look under there and go, oh, there's something painted. Um, so we're going to literally just do it quickly for function. So we're going to put this metal brackets up. So because it slants, it's quite awkward. So we're going to have to cut them. So we're going to have one at the end, one in the middle and probably one at the, the short end. And we're going to put some big shelves across. So hopefully it makes it a bit easier to show, to put things on the shelves. Because at the moment, the plastic storage metal shelving, uh, plastic storage um, shelving that's in there, they're not joined, they're not attached to the back. So they're not very steady stuff falls down the back and it kind of bows so you can only put so much on there so i'm hoping by shelving it properly i end up with proper space i might end up i'm definitely going to use the shelving at the the bottom corner that's the, the the short bit where my jars are at the moment unless i can put a couple of extra shelves in there but i'm not too worried because i have got like boots and stuff under that pile of snap bag and stuff in the middle so i could just use it for a bit of extra sort of like boot and shoe storage down that end i'm not too fussed about that um, I would like to try and keep some of the coat storage if I can because it's just overspill. Because there's six of us, the, the one I've got in the hallway um, doesn't really hold a huge amount of coats and there's nowhere else to put them. So um, I would like to kind of retain those. Sorry about my hair this morning. Um, so yeah, this, this shelving I got off Facebook Marketplace for £20, which is a bargain. So we priced up in B&Q last week and it was going to cost us about 20 quid just for the two metal um, sort of like rods. So... It was a bargain so we went out and bought those i think it was tuesday evening so they've been in the garage since then so that they could obviously with coronavirus make sure that they're still going to obviously spray them and wipe them down with fabulosa or something as well but at the moment they've been sitting in the garage since tuesday so they should be safe to use now so yes um that's the plan for today so i'm going to quickly make my coffee have a quick drink and then i'll probably head out to little with you in come back and then make a start on emptying that mess of an understairs so next time you see it in here i mean it's never tidy in here but it's going to be even more of a mess because it's going to be full of stuff from under the stairs um this is all part of the bigger plan so what's going to happen is obviously obviously hopefully we're going to sort out under there and get the storage sorted out but then we're also it, we're going to do in here next and we're actually decorating in here as well so i'm thinking of moving that heart because i do like that heart with all the little decor bits on but i think i'm going to move it to this wall where this picture is because i'm not too fussed about this picture move it over here and then I did think about getting some sort of sideboard unit over here and standing the TV on in the middle and then having shelves either side just some sort of rustic sort of shelves um, 
We are really, really short of cupboard space in this kitchen. Really, really short. For six adults living here, I've got two, three top cupboards that aren't very deep. And I've got, under the sink, there is hardly any space. It's just a bit of cleaning stuff under there because I've got the pipes from the dishwasher, the washer and the double sink drainer. So there's very little space under there. Then I've got a dishwasher, a washing machine. So literally at the top, I've got the, the three cupboards at the bottom I've got a set of drawers and one cupboard and that's it. There is literally no space. So this unit we've got over here we've had since we moved in. And that's got all of our plates and bowls and cups and glasses and things in. Um, but I am getting sick of it. I don't like how it looks and I am tired of it. So that's why I thought about replacing it with a low sideboard unit. But the only problem is because we've got, we've just got too much in this house. This what I'm sitting on used to be in the hallway. So this is like a, it's like a bench storage. Let me see if I can show you. So this is like a bench storage that um, I keep all my gym equipment in this end one for when I'm doing my workouts as well as my weights down here. The middle one's got any shoes and the end one's got loads of treats in. So it is functional and it's obviously got a seat padding on so we're just using that as like a bench seat at the moment. But we originally had all these chairs to go on the table but this used to be in the hallway and when we decorated the hallway we decided we didn't want to put it back in there so we just had to find somewhere to put it. So for the time being it's here. Um, but yeah, it's just, we just, I mean, I've got stuff here, look, so I've got like cookery stuff here. I've got some shelves behind here, which actually have done a really good job and have stayed up really, really well. So that's the sort of thing I'd like over the other corner, sort of like two lots of them and possibly have some more over here that I can hang some green hanging, that I can hang some green hanging plants on. And obviously I can get my cookery books out from under the stairs then and put the nice ones on display that I can actually then use because I can never get to them under the stairs. Um, but it also means I can put things like my instant pot away because I'll be able to put that under the stairs where the cookery books are at the moment. Um, and I might be able to clear some room in my cupboards. So about, at the moment I've got the cupboard over in the corner that's got all my jars of pasta and things, my plastic contains with pasta and stuff. But I could actually get those out onto a shelf because they look quite nice, they're all labelled properly. They look okay. So um, then if, if I speak free space in that cupboard, I might be able to put my glasses and cups and stuff in there. So th it's part of a bigger plan really if, as to how I'm going to change it around in here and make it look better because it's just the lack of storage is just, they don't think these houses, so they build three storey houses so you get more space on a smaller plot, but then they don't give you adequate storage. And if I was going to stay in this house long term, I'd rip this kitchen out and redo it all because we should have done that originally. It's never been fit for purpose ever. Um, but I just don't want to stay in this house. I really don't want to stay in this house. So it really would just be throwing more money away if we did it. And I know you might think, oh, it might make it a bit more sellable, but I don't know. Because if we choose a kitchen that no one else likes or if the fashion trends change, <coughs> then, because obviously we're, we're of a certain age and if someone young buys a house, they might want something completely different to what we want. So I can't see the point. And it's also the upheaval of having it all ripped out and redone. And I really want to do that in my next house, which will be probably more of a forever home, I think, at this point, because I can't see me wanting to move again. The only way I'd move again is if I end up moving to, like, the coast or something. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I've rambled on for quite a while. But that's the plan for today, so I'm going to quickly make my coffee, and then I've got to get on with um, pop into Lidl so I can come back and hopefully have a bit of time to be able to get the stuff out from the stairs. I've also got to go on a trip to B&Q with Eddie because we need to get some hacksaw blades so that we can cut the metal down because the metal racking is, is like really tall at the moment. So I don't think it'll fit under there as it is. So I think we need to get some hacksaw blades so we can cut through it. So we can adjust it to the height that we need it, especially for the bit where it slants down so it's quite short. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do and I've got a run planned in for three o'clock um, with Deanna because I'm really worried that tomorrow it's not gonna be fit. So we've planned it in for today. Um, I'm hoping it stays like this because at the moment it's dry and looks quite okay. Um, I think this will probably be a longer run, so it might be out for like an hour and a half running, maybe, or an hour, something like that. Um, we're not running till three, so we don't want to be out when it's dark, so we'll probably be done within about an hour and a half max. So that's the plan, so quite a lot in store for today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly make my coffee and then, in fact, I might just shoot a little now and then make the coffee when I come back because then I can have it as like breakfast. Hmm. I'll see if Ewan's up and about because he wants to go with me. Um, I'm also very spotty at the moment. I've got loads of spots there and there, which I think is my mask. But I've even had some up here and I 
I'm not really a spotty person on my face. Even when I was a teenager, I didn't get a huge amount on my face. I got them on my chest and back. So um, I don't know where all that's come from. I know it's changing seasons probably because we are obviously like, we're not in spring yet, but we're getting close to it. So maybe it's that, but I just feel like very spotty. <laughs> It's probably an age thing. It's probably like teenage hormones all over again. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to leave you now and I shall catch you later. I very nearly forgot to film again. Um, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I've got a little croissant. And in there I've got a slice of 50% lighter cheese and a slice of ham. So this is comes in at a whopping 408 calories. But I've got quite a busy day planned and I probably won't end up having lunch. So I'm also going to go for a run later. So I'm going to have this now. With a cup of coffee and then I'm going to shoot off down to pick my mum up for her vaccination and I shall catch you later. So I've just brought my mum and dad and god it's hard work sometimes. Um, my dad couldn't understand that we were too early. They told you to wait in the car till five minutes before and my dad just wouldn't have it. He kept saying every minute are we getting out now? We're getting out now. Where am I going for my second injection? I don't want to come here because it's ridiculous how long we're waiting and we literally waited five minutes so I don't know I don't know what's going on. Um, Oh, someone's come back to their car now just as I'm vlogging. So yeah, it's um, it's really busy here again. Um, don't know how long I'm waiting for. My mum um, wasn't too happy. I said to her, have you got your text or your email with your confirmation your appointment on so you can show them? Oh, let me get it now. Oh, my email's got to update. And so she was sitting waiting for it to update and it only got to 97% and then it was time for him to get out. So it just seemed like hard work today. <laughs> but I've got my iPad with me again so I can sit and do some reading. I can see that they still haven't got round there now. What time is it now? Two minutes to appointment. I think they could have got out five minutes ago because they're walking really slowly. She's done a back in, I think, um, sorting some wool out yesterday. But it's just some very bad parking going on around here. Anyway, um, <laughs> I shall catch you later. Breakfast was really delicious, by the way. Um, high in calories, but it's the weekend. I'm going to go for a run later. Um, and like I said earlier, I probably won't have much for lunch. I might have a little bit of something for lunch, but I won't have much for lunch because I'll probably do tea a bit earlier and I'm going to be sort of working through under the stairs, I think, helping Eddie do the shelving. So I'm hoping it just keeps me going. However, I do want to make sure I've fueled enough for my run because I think we're going to do a longer run today if we can, if the weather stays OK. Obviously, the weather forecast is supposed to be that it's supposed to snow later on tonight, tonight into tomorrow, and then I think it's here for a few days. So I'm just hoping it waits till after I've run. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I shall catch you later. So this is like everything that came out of that cupboard. Can you not believe how much it holds in that little space. And I'm dreading I've got to find somewhere to put all this now. I'm just busy trying to cut the plastic things down. We've painted in here. So it looks a lot better already. Okay. I've got my kit on ready to run and it started chucking it down with rain and actually looks like it might even be turning a bit sleety so um, my friend's just messaged me saying she doesn't fancy it and neither is really fancy it but we decided we're going to try and brave it and go out and just try and do 5k or even just short to just go out for a short one because I think snow's on the way tonight so if we don't go out now we probably won't get much chance but while Eddie's busy doing that because we can't really both do it I'm going to go through my cookery books and see if I want to keep them all or whether I want to get rid of some and send them to charity when we can. But it's really weird because there's some that I didn't even know I had. This one's called Star Wars Cookbook. Walkie pies, phone scones and other black tick goodies. I didn't know I had that. I think that might be Ewan's. It's probably a Christmas present or something. So what's he got in it? Skywalker cookies. Jar Jar fig bars. Walkie pies. Get a bit glare off the lights, so I apologise. Moss Isley Space Talks. But I'm hoping that eventually if I can get my shelves up in here, that I'll be able to have some of these puppy books up on my shelves so I can actually use them. I've got lots of light screen with little like Cory Knight classics and things, which I'll still keep because they're still handy for doing, um, you know, recipes anyway, healthy recipes. I've got an all Achille home journal that I got off my sister for Christmas a couple of years ago. I don't know if I started using it. I think I decided I was going to save it for my next house. Lots of like little baking books and things which I've acquired over the years. Some of it's when my mum or my sister were clearing out. This, um. Oh! Oh! Oops! <laughs> 
God, it's all collapsing. This natural Easter one, um, I got from Pyro a couple of Christmas ago, and these are all supposed to be healthy recipes. So I need to go through that really and see if there's anything I fancy making. Healthy square boss at Rancheros. Cashew beef satay with rainbow slaw. And these sort of recipes, I don't think I could really do when I was doing Simming World, but I might be able to accommodate now that I'm calorie counting, so. I mean, some stuff I probably wouldn't make, like Amiga seed crackers I probably wouldn't have a go at. Mine superfood hot chocolate. Raw chia chocolate fudge. So it's supposed to all be like healthy-ish recipes. Quinoa blueberry muffins. So yeah, there's quite a lot of different recipe books here. I better go and pick all the stuff that's just dropped down. I've got loads of these. This one, 1986 to 1990. I've got quite a few of these dairy cookbooks. I absolutely used to love them. I think some of these. I have the diaries as well that had all the recipes in. So some of them are really like old school recipes that you wouldn't expect to see nowadays. Like they've gone out of fashion, but these things have a habit of going, coming around again, don't they? So yeah, I'm going to continue going through these and try and get a pile. I know, I know for a fact I'll probably find it hard to pop with some of these just because I love a good cooker book. <laughs> the ironic thing is, I very rarely use them. I quite often just use online recipes these days, but I still like them, so I'm probably going to keep them, keep quite a lot of them. There's quite a few new ones here. So this one under here, which I won't move yet because I'll drop my jars. This um, Roald Dahl one's one of new ones, I think. So yeah, that's my plan while I do busy. <laughs> Wish me luck. It's actually been really good reminiscing. Sorry if you can hear noise. I'm descaling my coffee machine at the moment, so it keeps going wrong, so I'm trying to go. Um, I've got old diaries here. So this is the year that we got married. So it's got all the dates in from that. And then this one had like my brother-in-law's 18th birthday and 21st birthday. And it's just really weird when you look back at all the dates and things. And then I found this recipe. I'm not sure which one this is. I think it might have been Chloe, I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it asks for an egg an oil mixed with flour in box 250 ml cream one big banana or raspberry or berries cook on 175 15 20 minutes scoop the middle out and put mix in <laughs> so i don't quite know what that was for but i'm going to keep it just for just for reminiscing sake so this is how you know when someone's got a real weight problem because I've got so many different versions of Simming World packs and Weight Watchers packs from all the different ways from when they started doing freestyle, various different occasions. Then there was the Bringing Friends On to another one. Then there's when they launched My WW and another pack from Weight Watchers. And then there's, oh, I can't even lift it one-handed, bear with me. Then there's various Simming World ones. And I've actually given some away in the past to people that I've worked with that wanted to have a go at Simming World, so this isn't even all of them. How sad is it? I need to draw a line at this point and vow that I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> so over here, I've tried to sort of sort it out. This recipe binder is Ewan's that we bought him for Christmas because he was really into baking. And he's really good at baking, but he's gone off the idea at the moment, the age he is. But there's a recipe binder for him from Paper Chase that I got him for Christmas a few years ago. This is a hummingbird bakery book that I got as a leaving present from a job. And it's got some really nice recipes in. And obviously the one I showed you, the Star Wars one. We've got a Paddington Bear cookery book. A Roll Doll, a Rolling Recipe cookery book. And I've got some little baking ones. Another little hummingbird one, which is quite cute. And then some Christmas, 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 Christmas sweet treats. Then I've got a pile of various different Weight Watchers. That's pure points. I mean, that's a long time ago. Um, different Weight Watchers and WW and Simming World books. Even the Simming World books, you can see some of them for extra easy. There's some really old ones in here from when it was still red and green. So yeah, tons and tons of books. Then I've got my Leaning 15. Some of these books are actually really nice. Um, the Take 5 one. The similar one's a really nice book. There are some really nice books in there, so I won't get rid of them. But it just shows you how much I've attended and bought from Greek. I mean, over here, I've just got my general books that I really like. So there's a Mary Berry one. Mary Berry Christmas Collection. 
period wipers, perfect pies. There's a potato recipe book. These dairy books, sorry I'm having to have this odd angle, but you can see I've literally got nowhere to put anything at the moment. So these dairy books, that one and that one, are my favourite books ever. And then there's that all Acuity journal I showed you. There's another Delia Smith one there. Um, Natriza and a Wagamama's cookbook. So these are the ones that I think if I have a shelf in here, I'd like to put on the shelf. I might put some of those as well, because I do use them occasionally. Over here I've got a load of like recipes that are loose that I've been given in various different groups and magazines. So I'm going to go through those and see whether I can take out what I need. Here I've got a loose fold that's got a load of printed out recipes and things from over the years. So I'm going to go through that in the magazines and see if I can somehow create some sort of file rather than just having them loose. I have actually got a recipe box somewhere. Just located it. So my recipe box is here. So this, the whole point of this is it's got dividers in there and I have got some recipes in here but I've never really used the recipe cards I've just kind of stuck pieces of paper in but there is recipe cards at the back so I might have a go at some point actually using this for what it's supposed to be used for I mean a lot of that was supposed to be for my made up recipes because I make up quite a lot of recipes myself so but yeah it's just such there's so much to go through I don't know what we're going to do with it all like loads of cups and bottles and things so please tell me I'm not the only one to have all this kind of like hoard of stuff. Um, we found an espresso pod, like welcome discovery, empty like box. I had a quick look on eBay and they go for like six pounds something just for an empty like pod box. So I might stick it on eBay because you never know. I might be able to sell some of this junk. So yeah, I've got loads of jars. I'll show you those. So tons of different shaped jars for like overnight oats and various other things. I hate getting rid of jars because you never know when they might come in handy or if you feel like start pickling stuff. But yeah, there's just tons and tons of stuff. We've even got loads of these little Starbucks bottles. And they're really handy for taking milk into work and things if you really need to. So two pack of that zero fat cookery spray from Costco. Protein powders, there's just so much junk. it's coming on I'll show you what I've been doing so it's all painted and the holes are filled and then he's managed to get two of the metal um, strut things up he's had a bit of a battle because our walls are just rubbish because it's not I mean it's not a new house it's 16 years old but it is the walls are just rubbish so we thought this was a solid wall because we thought it was an outside wall but it isn't so he's had to put plasterboard screws in there so I think he's gonna put another one down that end somewhere and we've got these big white shelves to go on them I don't know why you put a, a light in the middle like that because it just takes up so much space. It's really annoying. But yeah, so that's the progress so far. I'm not having like a here. No, I know you're not. So I'm just vlogging all of Eddie's hard work. I've not really been involved apart from looking through my cookery books. Um, my friend and I have decided that we're not going to go for our run because it is just absolutely tipping it down. Although ironically, I know there isn't a break in the cloud, it is still tipping it down. And we've just decided that neither of us have the mental strength today to go out in that. Normally, if one of us is feeling strong, we'll force each other out and we'll still go and run. But today, I'm just not feeling it. Normally, I'll do it. If she's feeling weak, she does it if I'm feeling weak. But neither of us are feeling it today, so we're not going. And we've said that we might go tomorrow afternoon, but it all depends on whether this snow comes in or not. So if the snow comes, I'll be doing a home workout, I think, just on the TV. I'm actually thinking now that I'm not going running that I might go food shopping but the problem at the moment is I've got nowhere to put anything so if I go food shopping I mean I can't film a haul because I've got literally nowhere to put anything but I also can't put stuff away very easily because there's just stuff everywhere but I'm thinking that if the weather does turn at least if I go shopping I've got my food in oh there's some really nice wrapping paper down there <laughs> didn't even know that was there it's funny what you find <laughs> oh and i've got a water cartridge as well for my water filter anyway i shall uh, catch you when we've done a bit more so tonight's dinner is a hello fresh chicken korma well it's a chicken and spinach curry i think it's called but it's it is a korma so um i'll work the calories out and put them in my app but it's really tasty so um and it's courtesy of tom tom made it so it's very nice Excuse the appearance today, um, I've got this morning, I've had quite a few blemishes this week so I decided to not put any makeup on 
um, I've got a glass of song because I'm sitting reading and doing various things and I've got crazy hair so normally I make a bit more of an effort when I do my weekly weigh-in update but I recorded one yesterday when I was in the car waiting for my mum while she was at a vaccination and I've watched it back this morning editing it and um, I've just decided that I just didn't say what I wanted to say. <laughs> I think it's because I was worried because so many people were walking by that I thought someone was going to watch me recording and I got a bit self-conscious. So I thought I'd redo it today. So basically, I stepped on the scales on Friday, which is my usual weigh day, which I missed last week because I forgot. And my weighing scales gave me loads of different weights. I don't know if the battery's going or if they're finally, like, knackered. I'm not quite sure. Um, I stepped on the scales several times, as in probably about 10 times. And I got different weights on multiple occasions. Some of them said I'd put, like ridiculous amounts of weight on which w wouldn't be possible well it probably would be possible but I, I didn't think it was right and some said I'd lost weight which again I didn't think was right this week so um, I got two fairly consistent weights that did come out more than once um, 11.4 and 11.5 so I'm going to actually go for 11.5 and say I've had a two pound gain this week um, because I think it probably I do think I've put two to three pound on this week um, I haven't been very active. I have followed calorie counting, but I haven't had lots of snacks and I think I've pushed my calories to the limit. Um, if you've watched me since I started, I worked out my TDEE based on me being very active because I normally try and work out most days and I run and I haven't done a great deal of either just recently. Um, I can tell I put weight on. My chin feels a little bit like I've put weight on. I think generally I just feel a bit bloated and horrible. So I'm going for 11.5. I think that is probably on the light side. I think I probably should be more than that, but that's what I'm going for. Um, I think I need to get some new batteries and see if that helps for next week. And I wouldn't be surprised if I stepped on scales next week and it's still showing that I'm heavy because I don't think my scales are right. Anyway, I'm facing up to it. Um, I'm drawing a line here and I'm, I've come up with a plan of action. So I've decided that because work has been so horrendous recently although it's better at the moment um i never quite know what's going to happen and because i am studying again and various other things i can't guarantee i'm going to be really active i'm not feeling very motivated from an exercise point of view at the moment i don't think it's lockdown affecting me i think it's the time of year it's just this time of year just gets to me a little bit so it's generally when I get ill, when I'm normally at work, I normally get tonsillitis or really ill, but I think because I'm at home, I'm not getting that. And my body feels like it's constantly fighting germs at the moment. I feel tired and so yeah, I think that's part of what's contributed to me eating like lots of snacks and junk. I really haven't been brilliant from a calorie point of view. Um, I have really pushed it, so... I'm going to be honest with you guys and just let you know that um, I've eaten really good meals and I think they've been fine. Um, I do think I need to plan better. So what I'm doing for this week, I'm going to try and stick to 1,300, not 300, 1,300 calories a day. Um, put myself down as being slightly less active because I'm not very active at the moment. And then if I am active, all well and good. Um, I can always eat into my exercise calories a little bit if I need to, have a bit extra. So 1,300 calories, which does mean I need to plan a bit better. Um, and that's the other thing I'm going to try and do. I need to pop out today to try and get some storage boxes from Home Bargains or somewhere because I nipped a pound on last night and they didn't have any. And I've still got a lot of stuff under my stairs that need putting into boxes, mainly containers. You know, like your plastic tubs and stuff that you keep from takeaways and things like that, just for mainly for meal prep and stuff, I guess. I've got loads of them and they're all in different sort of like shopping bags. So I just want to get some containers so that I can tidy them all up and make them look a bit tidier. So I need to nip out for that. And that, I think, is all I'm doing today. Oh, no, I have got a run planned in for three o'clock because we didn't go yesterday. So I have actually got a run planned in. I'm not feeling it right now, to be honest. I've got a really bad headache again. I've had headaches for the past, I'm thinking, four or five days. I'm not quite sure what's causing it. I I'm thinking along with all these spots that I've got, that maybe it's a hormone thing, I don't know, but I've got a really bad headache. So I'm going to see how I go, and if it carries on, I may have to cancel, because sometimes if it's just a light headache, you go for a run, and it, it helps, but if it's a really pounding headache, there's nothing worse, particularly if it's really windy and cold like it is at the moment. We had a snow forecast overnight, 
But so far, we did a little bit before I went to bed, just a bit of sleety snow, but nothing settled. Don't know what's going to happen today. So, so I'm hoping to be out of the shops when they open so I can get back and then get on with my day. But I'm rambling a bit now, so I better go. Um, so that's my plan for this week. I do feel really focused now. I feel like I've had my bit of binge fest and I'm excited to get back on track and try and eat healthy. I've been buying lots of snacks in for Eddie and the kids and I've had no self-control whatsoever. So I need to stop looking at the snack bag and try and, oh, bright light, and try and um, get myself sorted. So this isn't supposed to be a depressing weight update. Um, I don't feel bad about it. Well, I do. I feel really bad about it in that I feel like I'm letting myself down more than anything and I'm letting you guys down but um we all know that that weight loss journeys are like this we wouldn't be here if we didn't have a problem so um facing up to it I think is the best thing and then moving on um draw a line under it move on and that's what I'm going to do I'm not setting myself any big targets for this week um I just need to try and get back on track to stop feeling like I need to snack and binge and that's the main thing for this week for me that I'm focusing on. I still haven't had anything to eat. Um, we've been busy this morning so I got up and then we nipped out to power stretcher to go and get the tubs for sorting out under the stairs. I've cancelled my run because I've got a really banging headache so I'm not going running and I've got to get dinner on but I've just been sorting out all the tubs and containers and stuff and I'll just show you under the stairs how much better it is. So this is the finished result. And I'm really pleased with it. So I've got all my sort of grocery stuff at the top, my pasta and all my different like noodles and things like that. Then I've got my stick blender and my steamer here, an espresso pod on the end. This protein powder I'll probably will find somewhere else for it eventually. And then I've just got some random sort of like baking stuff, casserole dishes and things. Then down here I've got some more sort of casserole dishes and a wok. All my cookery books, which obviously eventually when I get my shelves in the kitchen, I'm hoping I'll have some of those out. So I might have more space in here to put my slow cooker and stuff in. And then over this side, I've got some glasses, my waffle maker, the spiralizer, and a little donut maker. I've moved all my baking stuff out of one of my drawers and a random container that's in my kitchen into this set of drawers here. And then at the bottom, I've got um, a plastic container that's got a load of jars, anything glass really, so jars, bottles, things like that. Um, I've put the buffet warmer on here because it only tends to get used a few times a year. This one's currently empty, so I need to find what I'm going to put in there because originally I wanted to try and fit some of my craft stuff under here, but I'm not sure there's enough room now, but I'm sure I'll fill this with something. Then I've got a load of plastic like tubs and with lids and stuff for meal prep and storage. Some plain flour. This was because... I went to Costco and Chloe was making pizza and she's like, I need some plain flour and obviously Costco only sell things in big packs. So I bought it and then I got home and she said, actually it's not plain flour, I need it self-raising. So I'm now left with a load of plain flour. So I will get through it, but I'm not bulk buying, I promise. And then down here there's just a little flask. I do think I'm going to have to put some hooks back up over here because I've got a lot of random coats I've got nowhere to put. So we currently have this. Let me just shut this door out of the way. We currently have this very messy looking unit that's for all of the shoes and coats and things but there isn't enough space for all of us and I've still got a big pile. So I've still got this big pile of coats and jackets to go through and I've got no idea where I'm going to put them all. But it's still a lot better than it was. So that's another one ticked off the list for getting the house ready to sell so I'm quite pleased. I've still got a few bits to do so I've still got to go through some of my loose leaf recipes and things like that but in the main it's done. This spot looks horrendous so I apologise. Cover it up while I'm talking. Um, I'm going to grab something to eat now because like I said I haven't eaten yet. I did, when we came back um, Eddie quickly did croissants for him, Ewan and Ethan and then Chloe had um, a pan of chocolate I think but um, I didn't have anything because I'm really trying to cut my calories back and obviously yesterday I had one and it was like 480 calories so it wasn't starting the day off in the best way really. Um, we've got roast lamb for dinner, I haven't even got it on yet, so I'm going to get that on now, but it's going to take two or three hours, I'd have thought. So I need to have something to keep me going now. So I'm just going to find something that's healthy-ish. Oh, I didn't show you my other drawer. So this drawer had all my baking stuff in, as well as that container, so I've now turned it into a snack drawer. So I've got all my healthy snacks, 
all my sort of bakery goods that are for meals and stuff during the week that aren't, I just don't want leaving out. And any sort of like, all my skinny whips and stuff in here. So they've all been put away, which means I've cleared the top of one of my other cupboards. So I'll be able to have space for some other stuff. So this is what I'm having to eat. I haven't had any breakfast, so this is lunch and it's actually nearly half two now, so I'm really ready for it. This is a little sandwich baguette, which I've weighed out and is 86 grams. I've got tomato, a slice of ham, which is a little Wiltshire ham, which is 41 calories. I've said the tomato, and then I've got two grams of clover light spread on it, which I've weighed out. So this comes in at 296 calories, and I've got a coffee there with 20 mils of skim milk in there. And this is all I'm having right now. I'm just in the middle of preparing dinner, and whilst I'm preparing dinner, I'm watching Lisa Snow, although that's not a very flattering pose of poor Lisa there. And um, I'm gonna get on with preparing dinner. The meat's gone in, and it'll be about 20 to five, five o'clock, I think I'll be having dinner. So I'm just gonna quickly enjoy this. Then I'm gonna get on and prep all my vegetables for my roast dinner, and possibly get some stuff prepped for during the week. First, I'm gonna eat this. Here's my Sunday dinner. So I've got cabbage, Brussels, carrots, a tiny bit of sweet corn, but that's only what came with the carrots, because I'm not that bothered. Roast broccoli, roast potatoes done in that to fry, lamb, some mashed potato made with skim milk and low fat spread, and uh, Aldi Yorkshire pudding. So I've already worked the calories out, they're in my app, so I'll put a picture of it on screen, and I shall catch you, oh, and I've got a gravy as well, <laughs> and I shall catch you later. Dinner was delicious, really, really enjoyed it. And I've tracked it all in, and I think it comes just under 600 calories. So not too bad at all, really. Um, so I'm gonna have now, I'm gonna sit down and have a cup of tea. It's the first time really I've sat down all day, so I'm absolutely shattered. But Chloe made some cake the other day, so I'm gonna have a, a slice of this. Um, I'm not gonna bother working the calories out accurately. I'm just gonna guess and class it as a slice of Victoria sandwich. Um, I've tracked it, and even with a slice of Victoria sandwich tracked, I've still got about 300, two or 300 calories left anyway, so I'm not too worried if I've underestimated because this is going to be the last thing I eat today. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Um, I think having no breakfast means I can have a snack, which I'm quite happy about, and I'll show you what I'm having. Apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background. So yeah, this is just a slice of Victoria sandwich with jam in the middle, and then a thin amount of uh, buttercream on the on the outside. So I'm going to enjoy this, and I shall. Catch you again tomorrow for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. So I didn't think I'd need anything else to eat, but we sat down watching a film called Greenland on Amazon Prime. And I've got a little bit peckish. So I've got a Aldi cheese and black pepper muffin with some clove light on the top. And with it, I've got a Galaxy Light hot chocolate. Um, I've tracked all of it and I still come in um, at around the right calories. So this is absolutely fine for me to eat. And I shall catch you again tomorrow for the next one. Bye.